young children finding themselves as human beings is about how you become a bit better, stronger, a more morally centred human being. The verbal abuse directed at her is disgusting and it's appalling. Now, some of the other cast members of Harry Potter films sought to distance themselves with Rowling and her uh, increasingly vocal beliefs on what she terms gender-critical feminism, uh, despite the online abuse that she was subjected to by some campaigners. Mm, well, joining us now to discuss this further is Maya Forstater, executive director of the organisation Sex Matters, and a friend of J.K. Rowling. Thank you uh, for joining us on the programme. I mean, what, what, what do you make of uh, some of the statements uh, by the actor that played Voldemort? I mean, there, there's been a lot of controversy around um, lots of what the actors of Harry Potter have thought, and many of them have come out, distanced themselves from J.K. Rowling, but Ralph Fine seems to be uh, at least defending her. Yes. I, I mean, it shouldn't be hard to say what he said. He said that it was disgusting and appalling, the abuse that she's had, and that her views are sort of normal and acceptable. He didn't say whether he agreed or disagreed, but he defended her against abuse. And, and that shouldn't be hard. Uh, Robbie Coltrane did as well. What do you say to those who say that, you know, when... J.K. Rowling, a very huge and significant figure, intervenes in, in what is a very heated political debate on social media. It's almost expected that she might get some abuse. And can you really insulate anyone from abuse on social media? Um, obviously, there are, there are idiots on social media and the best thing to do is to mute them and block them. Um, but I think... There's been a really concerted effort to try and, um, you know, to cancel J.K. Rowling, although she's not cancelable, um, because she has spoken up and kept speaking up about this. Um, and so, you know, it must be for, for anyone, it's awful when people stop returning your calls or stop speaking to you. And it doesn't matter whether you're J.K. Rowling or me or, you know, any anybody um, you know, being uh, outcast from the people that you thought were your friends and your colleagues is is awful. It's heartbreaking. Um, and so, you know, the, the sort of idiots on, on Twitter and particularly, you know, anonymous, uh, abusive people uh, are the least of it. It's, I think it's more hurtful, the, you know, the people that you worked with, the people whose careers you played a part in, um, the people who you thought respected you, uh, standing back, uh, saying nothing or or piling on onto the abuse. Have we overinterpreted to some extent some of the words from the other people that often get brought into this discussion, the Emma Watsons, the Rupert Grints, the Daniel Radcliffe's of this world, who, uh, as far as I'm aware, have said that it's appalling that J.K. Rowling does receive abuse online, but they also have said that they disagree with her on the matter of gender. Uh, have we overinterpreted that? Is, is the media to some extent guilty trying to create bigger schisms than there actually are? Um, you know, I think everything that people say before the but, you can, you can discount it to a certain extent. Um, and, you know, I think it's, I think it's very noticeable that it's the younger actors who have more of their career ahead of them who felt less able to stand up clearly and defend JK Rowling and have felt you know that they needed to distance themselves uh you know because I think they can see the impact that this will have on their career if they were to if they were to stand with her um so I, so I don't think it's over interpretation I do think uh you know they have um you know, quite actively tried to put clear blue water between between J.K. Rowling and themselves in, you know, and in order to um, save their career, I think, or, or avoid the kinds of the kinds of abuse uh, and the kind of impact that she's had. Maya Forsater, uh, for showing your views, executive director of Sex Matters and friend of J.K. Rowling. And I, I do hope, you know, in a liberal, civilised democracy, we can perhaps all agree that, you know, it doesn't matter what your views are. We should all be able to have a 